Hey everyone, sports anchor Caleb Noe here on the campus of the University of Cincinnati. You know, several months back, a UC basketball player, Aziz Bandego, was the focal point of a lawsuit filed against the NCAA. You see, Bandego had just transferred here to Cincinnati last offseason, but was deemed ineligible by the NCAA because it was his second time transferring from one college to another. Well, Ohio's Attorney General Dave Yost found that to be unfair and in violation of antitrust laws. So Yost decided to challenge the NCAA's transfer rules with the help of nine other states. Those transfer rules have since been lifted by the NCAA and Bandago ended up playing 29 games this past season with the Bearcats. Now there's a settlement in that lawsuit. And as a result of the settlement, student athletes will now be able to transfer from one college to another as many times as they choose, as long as they meet academic standards. Now, some student athletes might even gain a year of eligibility as a result of the rule changes. And players who choose to transfer will no longer be forced to sit out just because it's their second time transferring. Of course, with more freedom to transfer comes greater challenges for coaches across the country to keep their rosters intact. In fact, UC basketball coach Wes Miller just told us this week he thinks players who choose to stay should be celebrated. What we've said as a staff is let's celebrate the guys that return. Like let's, you don't want the guys that returning to feel like they're not being valued and appreciated uh, because they haven't transferred and they're not out there doing their thing in the recruiting process in the portal. So these transfers we have are all big transfers and let's shower them with love. But uh, let's, let's really celebrate the guys that return.